at this pair of axe equipment. Looking at a uh, SW50 gas, a regular model, in a light version. A light version means it is not insulated and it does not have pneumatic door clamps. Um, the door clamping is manual. You can see it here. It's the manual uh, open and close. Um, and again, it doesn't have the insulation. As all the other features you're going to find, well, that's the gas heater machine here. Uh, your optional OS 111 oil skimmer plugs into the back of the electrical box. There's a timer inside that you can automatically program that time that skimmer to come on and off automatically. You've got your rollout wheel. You can roll the turntable out. Convenient step. Get up in the machine. In the event you got a big head, you got a wrestle with. Of course, we've got the built-in hot tank. This top tank here is uh, 13 by 34 by 11. Nice little tank. I'll just lower this door. It's all one-handed. All spring-loaded. Here's the door. That's a Cummins ISX in there. And again, you've got a, uh, this wheel here. I'll just roll it on out. With the wheel. So it rolls out really nice and easy. Of course, you've got your step. Uh, of course, your gear drive back here in the back with a clutch. You've got a spring under here that, uh, in the event this thing gets hung up, it's milled here on top and just sat there and clutch against that spring. You've got your 360 degree manifold. It goes all the way around. No seals on the door, of course. 28 inch diameter turntable, 50 inches vertical. Now I'm going to roll this back in. It's got a little gear down here, you see, right over here. That rolls in. It keeps you from having full sideways. I did that all one handed. Again, you can see our nice little manifold in there. Nozzles on the left, the top, on the right, and of course on the bottom. So we've got you covered there. Uh, and this is a one-handed door. Got my phone in one hand, shutting the door in the other. That's how simple that is. Anyway, SW50, regular light uh, with a Beckett CT4 burner. Nothing in the back. Go right up against the wall. Nothing here on the left side either. Go in the corner. These little plugs right here. You've got one of our water recycling rinse booths. You can put a, uh, a bar fitting in there and run your water from your rinse booth uh, back to your spray washer. You've got a uh, auto off and on for your heat cycle. And the auto position works automatically off the timer inside the main panel. Off is off, on is on. You've got a wash selector here. And jog is simply jog so you can if the door down you can jog the turntable for the manual lamps. Then you have a digital temperature controller here, monitors your temperature and then a 30 minute wash cycle. Great machine, 25, 30 year life expectancy. Uh, 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 assuming you're gonna be using a uh, nice blend of chemical with a rust inhibitor in it. Just kind of walking around a little door safety switch here. Nice big uh, 10 horsepower motor here. This thing's about 80 PSI, but it flows about 140 gallons a minute, so it really flows uh, real nicely. And your built-in oil skimmer, it is an option. Uh, once you get the skimmer in there, it's going to you know, put a bucket under this barb, but you're going to have a, uh, a cover, cover this skimmer up, because we don't want a bunch of heat being lost out of the uh, skimmer hole, because it all that does is going to ruin your burner more. So very efficient um, and very well thought out. Back here you've got a uh, an air inducer for the uh, for the air. And what that means, if you if you turn a pump on, you get a bunch of steam out of the door. You can inject air up into the stack to help get that steam going. That will come on automatically and shut off automatically with the pump. Get your drive motor up here. The 
Four Springs. Very nicely done. For the best in cleaning, call Axe. That's AXE Equipment, 1-800-251-0018. Or visit us on the web at axeequipment.com.